Results for the giveaway will be announced at the end of this video. Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, and today I want to talk about 10 bugs or glitches that still get ignored in Forza Horizon 4. Now I know some of these small bugs or glitches can easily be overlooked as an overall package of the game and I certainly do not want to sound like I dislike the game because the truth is I don't. There are many features that I truly enjoy but when I look at the entire series of the Forza Horizon collection, the latest installment seems to have a lot of small issues that can chip away as a Forza player and slowly ruin the experience. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comment section below with my list and what other bugs or glitches you are still encountering and I certainly hope in the future some if not all of these will get resolved. Starting off with number 1, the car pass. Yes, I know the car pass is now over at least in the meantime, however with that said, since the launch of Forza Horizon 4, all car pass owners have been receiving 2 brand new cars per week. For me, it was every Thursday at 10.30pm as I live in Perth, Western Australia, but not every week was I able to collect my free car straight after the season has changed. Some weeks I would have to wait a day or two or even up to four days for the cars to unlock, which is extremely frustrating not just as a Forza YouTuber, but just purely as a car pass owner. I know this is a new system for them that they have implemented and should they include this feature again in the near future, perhaps in Forza Horizon 5, this is certainly something that I want to see get fixed. Number 2. Wrong Car Thumbnails I know, I know, this is something small but how many times has this happened to you when you just want to pick the car that you want? only to realize that the picture in that car selection is not the one that's in the title. I mean, as a car fan, we prefer pictures more than words, and in all honesty, if this was flipped around where the car title was incorrect but the picture was the right one, that isn't so bad because, as they say, a picture is worth a thousand words, and as soon as we see the car that we want, we will immediately get drawn to it. This is a small bug that still happens today, mostly at random times, most certainly at the very beginning when you start the game and then you go through the car selection screen. It's just something I find a little annoying and I hope that they do fix this in the near future. Number 3. Getting Seasonal Championship Cars Early Okay, this may sound contradictory to my first point in regards to the car pass, but this one refers to obtaining vehicles through Seasonal Championships. To win these cars you must either compete in an online event which is one of the hardest because not only are you versing other players online but sometimes you might get the trials events where you get teamed up with teammates that actually can't really drive or some can be earned through your typical offline races. Each week there may be one or two vehicles that you can win and throughout the entire month these cars are unlocked until a certain time frame. However, some people are getting these cars early by exploiting the system they are playing on. Of course, I'm not going to say how you can do it, but people are now putting these cars up on the auction house and it almost feels like why I would wait three weeks when I can kind of get the car now. Of course, this only works for cars being unlocked behind an offline seasonal championship only, but I'm currently unsure if Playground Games are issuing bans for people who are doing this. Perhaps they should implement another way to lock the cars in the seasonal championships, hopefully not by making them all multiplayer based only. Number 4. The Forza Vista camera being too low. Here's one that really grinds my gears is the camera being far too low in the Forza Vista mode. This is especially noticeable when you first get into the car and enter the mode, particularly in one of the houses that you have bought. You will start with the free camera but you are so low that sometimes you are not even able to see your engine bay, explore your boot and even worse, sometimes not even able to get into your car. Now if you are able to get into your car, that is my way of fixing the Forza Vista camera. So what I would do is to sit in the driver's seat and then come back out and then the camera will be back to its proper height where you can view the car at its best angle and inspect the finer details that have been rendered to the car. Number 5. The car still sinks at top speed. 
At first, this was pretty cool, seeing almost half of the car sink into the ground and it begins to spark. But when you look at past Forza Horizon games, this never happened when you were driving at top speed. As the honeymoon period of the game is now over, I question why does this happen? Visually, it's quite unappealing and who knows if it affects the physics of the car in any manner. Now, I believe that if you are playing in an online multiplayer session or if you are in your own convoy, this bug can only be seen by yourself, which does suggest to me that perhaps it may not affect the car at all. However, please, Playground Games, as I said in the previous videos, we like new features, but these aren't it. Number 6. Why does my friend's car have dirt? Here is another small bug in the game that affects mainly photographers especially those ones who enjoy taking photos of car meets or cruises with your friends. For me, I have to take photos as thumbnails for my challenges with my good friend Starkey and many times when we want to take a photo of our cars together, my friend's car always looks like it's gone through a rally stage and I ask him every time, why did you drive through the dirt? Now we're going to have one car that's clean and another car that's dirty and then he'll respond with, what are you talking about? Why is your car dirty and my car is clean? So then what we would have to do is to change to another car only to change back to our original cars to completely remove the dirt just so we can take a proper thumbnail. I know it's something that doesn't take up too much of our time, but really it shouldn't be happening at all. Number 7. Hollow Mitsubishis As ecstatic as we were to hear Mitsubishi was back in the Forza series, once we were able to get our hands on purchasing them, we realized that things were not quite the same as they used to be. Particularly with the Lancer Evo 8 and 9, they both seem to have hollow exhaust pipes which look quite ridiculous. Now I also believe there are other Mitsubishis like the Eclipse that also have some see-through body parts during upgrades as well. And with Mitsubishi now being back, in the game for over a month now, there has been no word of these graphical errors being corrected. Number 8. The BMW Z4 M Coupe cockpit still is too close. With a huge selection of vehicles, of course it's virtually impossible to get every little detail correct and I understand that. With the camera angles, whether you drive in third person or first person, across the board all the camera angles need to be fairly consistent. With cockpit views, I know sometimes you may be closer to the dash or your head position may be higher, but with the field of view, they should remain roughly the same. Also, I must note that with the PC version of Forza Horizon 4, you can actually adjust your field of view for all camera angles, but for console players, it's all fixed. And apart from the saline at one time, being completely incorrect with its cockpit view, the other car that's most notable is this BMW Z4. It looks way too close to the steering wheel and if you compare it to the other Z4, it just looks completely off and the consistency is just not there with this car. Unfortunately, this has been like this since launch but fortunate enough for Playground Games, this car is not one that gets driven by many players in Forza Horizon 4. That is why it isn't well known to everyone. However, if they did fix the saline, this cockpit camera angle can also be fixed as well. Number 9. The Sound or Audio Glitch There can't be a list of bugs and glitches in Forza Horizon 4 without a complaint about the issues that we have with the car sounds. In my personal experience, I've never experienced them in Forza Horizon 1, 2 or 3, but in Forza Horizon 4, it happens at least once every two sessions whenever I play. Usually, they only last for about 5 to 10 seconds, which isn't a very long time, but it gets stopped because I pause the game for the audio to get back to normal, which for a split second does ruin the Forza experience for me. With many of the car sounds not being accurate already, the last thing that we want is for the engine car sound to glitch out by staying at the same rev while we continue accelerating or to not have any car sounds at all. This has been going on since the very beginning and till this day many of us are still experiencing it and there seems to be very little detail about this issue being resolved. 
And lastly, number 10, stop putting me in a focus RS. This one, I'm not sure if it's just part of the game and it just puts us back to a default car as a feature. But for me, I like to be in the selected card that I was during my last session. For example, if I quit my game while using a McLaren Senna, I want to load back into the game in a McLaren Senna and not a Ford Focus RS because most likely what I was doing in my last session, I might potentially want to continue on in today's session. But instead, the game puts me into another car that I never use. And the reason why it gets a little annoying is that when you combine all the long loading times just to get to the car selection screen, you've already started experiencing the bugs of the game and it doesn't really start off your playing session on an upswing. So there we have it guys, 10 bugs or glitches that are somewhat being ignored in Forza Horizon 4. Please share this video around to anyone or everyone in the hopes that someone from Playground Games will be able to see this. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button. That would really help me out. And now for the results of the Forza Horizon 4 Ultimate Edition giveaway. I know it's quite ironic given with what I've just spoken about Forza Horizon 4, but with all that aside, it is still a great game. So the winner of the Ultimate Edition Forza Horizon 4 giveaway is Finn underscore Waters. So congratulations, buddy. I'll be contacting you as soon as possible through messages and you'll get a digital code of the Ultimate Edition of Forza Horizon 4. Thank you once again, everyone, for putting down your comments on what your favorite thing was in Forza Horizon 4. I wish I could give a copy to everyone, whether it's for you or your friend. And lastly, if you guys would like to see more Forza Horizon 4 video right here on this channel, including challenges with my good buddy Starkey, make sure to click the subscribe button with notifications turned on. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.